This episode of Fragbox TV is brought to you by the world's most beautiful nano reef tanks. Start your reefing adventure at reefcasa.com. What is going on, my reefing fam? March here. This is Fragbox TV. This is my bulldog digs. This is our store in Toronto that specializes in saltwater aquariums. Okay, what are we doing today? What is today's video? Another day, another video. Look at this long tentacle plate coral. Before we get started, sidetrack. How come no one has bought you yet? Oh man, and look at that, stinging. Only a hundred Canadian dollars. That's like free in US money. His dollar so strong. Okay, what are we doing? I'm making some upgrades in the basement with some Neptune stuff. Hello, Mark. Everyone say hi to the Don of Shipping. D-O-S. We call him the Don of Shipping because he is, it's in the name. He's the Don of Shipping. Shippy shippy. Um, anytime I do something sort of like an upgrade or if I'm going to open something off the shelf, let's say I'm going to set up a core 15 or a pump or maybe a radion or I'm going to start dosing additives. Initially, like my mind goes to um, the camera. Let me pick it up and let me show you guys what I'm doing in the shop because I hope that the videos are useful and maybe you get some value out of them and uh, maybe you do, maybe you don't. 34,000 of you have decided yes. I can't believe we're growing subscriber base. Is, uh, that's a really cool number. So today I'm gonna add two levels of sort of automation and tech to our what we call the main system here, which houses most of our corals. This is coming along. We're gonna start scaping our new shallow display tank. Thank you for everyone who commented. What I'm going to do is sit down with the team. We're actually gonna do a live stream and we're gonna pick it out in live. We're gonna read them all. I think there's like 400 freaking comments there and then someone is gonna win that $100 gift card. So, I'm gonna be adding a Neptune LLS. What is that? What are these funny words? What do you mean you're adding a Neptune? How can you add a Neptune? Neptune is this company here, all the orange. You can see they're back here. These are aquarium controllers. If you don't have one, go out and research them. They're awesome. They'll monitor your temperature, your pH, your calcium, your alkalinity, your magnesium. You can dose, they have return pumps, they got lights, they got uh, everything it turns your aquarium into a smart aquarium that you can look at and control from your phone and for us it's really like an insurance plan because it's, there's so many different safeties built into it um, like leak detectors like the LLS what I'm talking about today is a liquid level sensor so I call it the fancy ruler because that's sort of what it looks like it's basically yeah underwater ruler so anywhere that you would want to measure um, water in your tank let's say uh, something is failing and it's <laughs> overflowing this will let you know and could turn off a pump or let's say it runs really low like in your sump or in the back chamber of one of your reef casa aquariums you could install a little seven inch one and it's just to keep basically an eye on water level so i'm going to be hooking up one of these in the sump because we're perpetually running low on water and then i'm going to add one of these no, no actually this is a great tool this is a leak detector if you god forbid ever get water on the floor it'll send you a text message and tell you come home quick something's wrong optical sensor so this is a little little laser in there and it's the same idea as um, the liquid level sensor if you want to monitor water somewhere in the tank how do you get into an aquarium controller they have a couple different options you can get the junior this little one here it'll kind of get your feet wet and you can play with a bunch of the toys or you can get the big boy apex and then the apex pro but i'm not going to talk too much about that in this video, I would go out and research. We've done some in the past. There's so much, so much content on those. I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna hook up these two because like I said, anytime that we're doing anything new, I wanna share it with you guys because maybe you take something away. Maybe you can comment below and tell me what I have taught you on the channel or what you've learned because I'm always learning as a hobbyist. As you see, we do lots of traveling here and um, I kind of love that because when I see the way other people, hello, welcome to the haunted basement. When I see the way other people keep their aquariums, that's when I'm, uh, I'm inspired and I learn from them. Okay, so I've already put the liquid level sensor here. It attaches really easy with this clip. This is our sump that's running the whole store. So I don't know if I've shown you guys before, those tanks upstairs, me and all my plumbing wisdom, I'm not a plumber, but I figured out how to do it. Um, all the water comes down here, all these black pipes. Yes, you can use ABS. People say you can't use ABS. Full of shit. I've been using it um, forever. I've always been using ABS. It's inert plastic. I don't care what you say. I'm right, you're wrong. No, that's, sorry, I take that back. It works for me. <laughs> do your research and decide if you want to use uh, ABS or PVC. I use both and sometimes I'll switch from one to the other with a transitional glue. Anyways, we're getting sidetracked. Water comes down. It's really simple down here. We have filter floss, two oversized bubble mega skimmers, which are my preferred skimmers. 
um, basically all the time. Very inexpensive and they do a great job. Uh, a boatload of live rock in here. And then our return pumps that send the water back up. So it's fairly simple. So why am I adding a liquid level sensor here? Because this is our last chamber in our sump. And so when we take water from the system, it drops and we don't want our pumps to run dry. So I want this to tell me um, where we're sitting at during the day. And we're just gonna be able to keep an eye on it. It's gonna give us an alarm once it gets to a certain level, which will let us know like, hey, come please add some salt water back into me and keep me happy and running good so the pumps won't run dry. I'm actually gonna hook that up to an audible alarm so we can hear it because right now when our sump is running dry, um, we just basically see bubbles shooting out of one of the returns and then we know to, to come downstairs and check it. Also, um, I wanna switch the ATO. It's acting a little wonky, so this will just give me an extra level of protection because this is where we experience water loss in the system. It's always gonna be in that last chamber of your sump, as long as your sump is designed correctly. The optical sensor that I'm gonna install, dun -da -da -da, hello optical sensor, is going over here in our RODI, reverse osmosis deionized water it's our, basically our fresh water reservoir. So I have a little float switch on the bottom right now that um, basically lets me know when this is empty. Um, but I want to install one. Oh, is this full? No, it's not. I want to install one here at the top to let me know when it's full. I have a float switch as a safety, but what I want is um, I want that optical sensor here to turn off our RDI unit. So if you have a fancy one like ours that comes with a, um, with a switch, with a plug, like Aqua FX, we don't currently sell these, but I think I'm going to. Very, very impressed with this RODI unit. Um, very much like the Vertex ones I used to use back in the day. If you know what I'm talking about, it means you've been doing this for a while because they've been out of business for a while. But this is a really great unit. It has auto flush. It has pressure gauge, um, booster pump built in. It's not, a, it's not cheap, but I think it's, uh, it's more than hobby grade. This is really getting well clearly into the professional grade. We're running a commercial setup here. It's a nine stage. I really recommend this one. I think it's the hammer, yeah, hammer head. I don't currently sell it. You can get them there in uh, Winter Park, Florida. What up? Oh, I love Winter Park. And um, I would really recommend there. So with that optical sensor, when it gets triggered because that's gonna get full, what I'm gonna do is have our apex turn off the unit so that I only want it running when it's empty, filling, filling up, and then turning off. I don't want this intermittent on and off all day. I wanna run it way more efficiently. And I think it's better for the membranes, better for the unit, instead of cycling on and off all the time. How that's gonna be done is in here. This is the brain of the store. So in one sentence I said, oh, it's really, really simple. It's also a lot of gadgets. So I try and put all the electronics in here, our energy bar eights, any, any plugs, we try to keep them labeled. And it's just to be safe and keep all the electrical um, kind of, mm, it's organized chaos. I know where everything is, neat and tidy. It's kind of stupid to say, use those words and then show you this on camera. It is neat and tidy um, in my mind. So no one really touches this but me. It's all laid out um, in a very, we're gonna close that. Oh, it's organized, you know what, leave me alone. Now finally, how are we gonna set these up to our Apex? You need something called an FMM module. So the Apex system is super, super mod modular. You, anytime you wanna add something, let's say you fill up all the ports that are that come with it, you can always add these, ex uh, you can always add additional ones. So this FMM is gonna give me four ports at the bottom right here. You see those four audio jacks? So what does that mean? Um, it's going to connect with a USB cable into our existing Apex. And then with these four ports, I'm able to use four new devices. So I could use four optical sensors. I could use four leak detectors. I could use four liquid level sensors. I could use two of these and two of those. It doesn't matter. You can use whatever you want, but you're going to get four more ports or four more expansions in order to run whatever you want. You can run up to 200 of these, I believe, on any individual Apex. I don't see why anyone would ever need more than one, except for maybe if you're in this sort of setting or if you're creating something a little more complica uh, complicated. I'm gonna mount it right up here because this is sort of the halfway point between that reservoir and this sensor. And I kind of wish, one little critique, I kind of wish I could extend these a little bit longer. I guess Apex uh, or Neptune isn't, and they're making it for hobbyists, you know, you're not really making it for people like us that you would want to maybe run it 20 or 30 feet, you know, we have a large stretch, a large run here. So I kind of wish that uh, 
I can make them longer. I'm sure it's not that complicated. I don't feel like splicing it. It just looks like an audio jack cable. I'm sure there's just two wires in there and I can cut it, extend it, and then stick this on the other end. But I'm gonna try not to do that in this video. I don't wanna promote uh, modifying uh, stuff like that. And it's as easy as just plugging it in. If you're setting up an LLS and you have problems, it's not connecting. One thing I learned recently, this has got like a double click. So if you think it's in once, push it again. It actually takes two. It's got a mounting bracket on the back, which is gonna make it very easy to attach so all i'm going to do in a second when i put down the camera is screw this here then i slide the other one on top i'm going to plug these in and then they're going to pop up on our apex dashboard so what the apex dashboard is the interface that you run um, off of your phone or your computer or your any tablet any sort of device like that you just go here apex fusion and i can see all our aquariums so look it's telling me the alkalinity the calcium I don't know why that's saying zero. Fish temperature, magnesium. Ours is a little bit complicated. It's a little bit busy because again, we're running the whole entire store off of here. So once I hook them up, it's gonna give me, um, it's gonna show me what the actual, uh, the level is. Uh, it's pretty accurate too. I've installed these on customers' tanks in the past. It's pretty accurate. It's like within 0.1 or 0.2 of an inch. So it's gonna give me a very accurate reading. So I'm gonna put the camera down now. I'm gonna go ahead and hook it all up and then I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Boom. Done. It's all hooked up. It's programmed. It's calibrated. I don't want to show it on camera. It's kind of boring. Um, it's very straightforward. You just follow it off the app. I have the optical sensor on there now. So this is going to control my RODI. It's only going to turn on and off based on when we need water. I have this set up. This is kind of cool. It gives me an audible alarm actually upstairs. So all the staff can hear it too. So just for example, let me take it out of the water to stim uh, simulate like as if it was dry, like our sump was running dry. And let's go upstairs and hear the, the little jingle. I really like this sound even though it's telling you there's something wrong you can get only get this sound if you have the apex display listen to that beautiful sound da, na, na. so then if we're upstairs we can hear it everybody knows okay we heard the beautiful music let's go down to the basement and fill up the sump why are we running out of water why is the sump ever dry because throughout the day we're taking out water from here someone comes in and say give me that torch coral that's a nice torch hmm look at that someone should say give me that torch coral or give me that hammer and give me those zoas. So we take water out of here, we bag it, but every day, every time we do that, we're losing water out of this entire system. That's what I just showed you downstairs in the basement, that sump. So naturally the sump level is gonna drop. And like I said, we don't know, because we're not checking every time we bag, we don't know that the sump is dry until we start seeing bubbles shoot out of here because that's telling us there's no more water and it's starting to shoot out air. So that's not really good for the pumps. You don't want them ever to run dry. It's not really good for the system because it flows off. And I just like levels of automation. I can also now always watch the sump level from my phone, which is kind of cool. I can always see where it's at when if I'm away or you know at home. Um, I can just keep track of it. I know um, some of you think that I do live here because I uh, make so many videos and I'm always in the shop. I try to have a life outside of Fragbox. I really do like that sound. If you guys got any other questions, I'm gonna wrap up the video. Hit us up, fragboxcorals at gmail.com. If you got any questions about Neptune, maybe you're watching this and you're in Saudi Arabia or Vietnam or somewhere that you can't typically find all of these cool hardware, all the goodies that come with um, reef keeping. We're actually happy to send it to you. Uh, anywhere in the world as long as it's not alive we're happy to send you anything you want some radions you want some red sea reef mat rollers or you want a uh, nio skimmer and you live in zimbabwe wherever we can send it um you just got to pay us through western union and it will show up at your door and that's it i think we'll wrap up this video and if you guys enjoyed it give us a thumbs up we'll see you back here on the next one very very soon say goodbye mr Diggs. here i'm gonna give you a pet <laughs> Nice doggy. Oh, if you watch this far, it means you're a super fan. This is from Jake Dog, by the way. Um, my doggy has a little bit of a skin condition on his back. Maybe we have a vet out there watching. Show me your bum. Turn. If anyone can help me out here. Um, I'm going to try changing the food because I think it might be food related. That's what everyone keeps telling me. But the weird thing is I haven't switched his food for years. You see he's losing patches here. It's really, really dry. And if anyone out there can give us a hand, shoot us an email, fragboxquarrels at gmail.com. Look at this poor guy. Um, because I do take him to the vet and they keep putting him on antibiotics, but uh, I don't think that's the answer or the solution. Look at this poor hair. Okay, see you back here on the next episode. Bye for now.